<laughs> oh no. <laughs> that little guy, that's a spider. I don't like him. <laughs> Etnophobia, or the fear of bugs, is the third largest fear in the US. Research suggests that the sight of bugs indicates that something isn't safe, making us subconsciously wary of them. Other reasons might be the media. People like Coyote Peterson putting himself and the animals in positions where they're forced to defend themselves, ultimately portraying them as some sort of threat. Well, it worked, because I'm terrified of that shit. <laughs> that was ugly. So in this week's episode of Red Face, I'm gonna say F anxiety and embrace embarrassment by meeting with a bug expert to get over my fear. Let's go. Today I am joined with Dr. Gwen Pearson, a etymology professor here at Purdue. Any specifications you would like to get out there? I'm Dr. Gwen Pearson, I work here at Purdue, and my specialty is getting people to understand that they actually like insects and spiders. So hopefully, we will get you a little closer. <laughs> hopefully. To that. I heard you have things like centipedes, like large. We, do we have a it's not quite a foot and a half long, but it is quite large. Yeah, we have a tarantula that's about the size of a dinner plate. Um, have, I have honestly 20 species of tarantulas, so I run our bug zoo here at Purdue. Uh, <laughs> is it beginning to get a little sweaty? I'm a little scared, yeah. Are you ready for me to bring out a caterpillar? I, I am kind of ready for the okay. caterpillar. So this is my go-to insect for folks that aren't sure. Oh, that is way larger than I was expecting. Oh, I want to say it's cute, but... If you touch this, it's crazy soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't it like a little pillow? It is. Oh my goodness. It's soft, right? <laughs> it is. It's weirdly yeah. squishy. That wasn't oh. so bad, right? No, that was that was fine. We're going to go in and see something a little bigger. In there? In the in the threatening room? It is not, not threatening. Not thre room. Everything is in a cave. Intimidating room. Yeah. The intimidating room. Okay. The threatening room. Oh. We're entering the lab. What is that creature? It looks like a mixture of a scorpion and like a like so a leaf they bug. They carry their tails up like that just because it's it's lighter. Will you dance for us? Oh, he's boogieing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these guys pretend to be sticks, and that if you blow on them, they'll kind of sway back and forth like a stick in the wind. Yeah, I would never ever ever see that. Okay. Wait, so if those are these are babies. So how big do they? Well. Do they? <laughs> oh, we're about to figure it out. So this is an adult. I literally have goosebumps. Oh, no. Um, and she is a leaf eater. So will you wave? Say hello. 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 <laughs> Look, see, she's waving. This is not a scary bug. And over here. Oh, these guys are cool. Oh, that's a large one, but yet. <laughs> Whoa, that's massive. Oh, Lord. That looks like a Pokemon. So she has little wings. If you want, you can touch her right there. She feels like a leaf. Okay. You can do this. It's like a leaf. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That, that was cool. Bad, yeah. yeah. And so, and look at her goofy face. I mean, come on. That's a I mean, silly. Yeah. She's kind of. She's kind of. We also have these cute little beetles. It's literally called the death fang beetle. Well, <laughs> when you pick them up, they're like oh. cute goats. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Hey, you want to hold one? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna put this down. What I'm gonna do is. Okay, it doesn't. It's, it's just chilling. It's just yeah, chilling. It's just chilling. It's just chilling. And I'm hanging on just because I don't want anything to happen to my butt. This is actually um, a tarantula. They're called arb arboreal tarantulas. So they live in uh, trees. And you can see how that's intimidating. Look at it this way, though. How amazing is it that this is an animal that eats a couple of bugs and makes the strongest material we know of in the natural world out of her butt? That's rather impressive. <laughs> Me after <laughs> panda. <laughs> This is Martha, she's our biggest tarantula. It's called the bird eater. Basically, they got their name. Some Victorian said, that spider's big enough to eat a bird, and they wrote it down. That makes sense. She's named after Martha Stewart because she decorates with her web. Ah. To give you a sense of what Martha really looks like, because we don't want to pick her up and scare her, this is her shed skeleton. Right oh now. my lord. She does have big fangs. Those fangs do not look super soft. Oh. Is it fuzzy and soft? It is. I just feel like it's gonna. Nope, it's not alive. Oh. It's not alive. Oh no. Oh, you are a feisty one today. Okay. Arizona blonde. Oh, 
I do like blondes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The way she's sitting right now, her fangs are right there. I'm like sticking my finger in her face. She's not reacting at all. So hypothetically, yes. if the Arizona blonde yes. was to bite me, what you would, would happen? You would say a very bad word and that would be But she's not like freaking out that a massive human being is fondling her? Nope. Well, I'm, I'm not really, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it just looks like she's staring me down. Kinda, just keep an eye on you. And oh. look at this, can you see the silk? Oh, whoa, I can see that. I mean, this also tells you how sweet she is. I'm basically putting my finger on her behind and pulling stuff out of it. I also have um, some relatives, so look at this bad boy here. That is called a tailless Ooh. whip scorpion. I can take her out, although. I'm not touching that. Oh no, I'm not gonna let you. Oh, she's okay. fragile. We'll say they are sometimes a little fast. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, it's swift. It's very fast, yeah. But isn't she cool? So she has little arms. Oh. <laughs> it looks like those little beetles down there are trying to run away from it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. <laughs> Do any of these jump? You know, like the like the typical like the spider like jumps at the like glass or whatever in the movies. Well, you're, you're thinking of a specific spider, the jumping spider. Ah, uh, that, they're, that they're makes sense. Guys. Are you ready for the centipede? Oh, those yeah. actually freak me out. It's like, oh. Uh, She's pretty big. Oh, you are underground. Okay, well we're gonna have to. Oh, we're gonna, apart for we you. have to dig them out. <laughs> are you hiding under here? Maybe she escaped. She knew I was coming. She's plotting on me. Where, where, where? She's there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that, <laughs> that freaks me out. So yes. this is so centipede. Centipedes are the ones that are predators. And millipedes are the, like. And they are the, the mellow mill decomposers. <laughs> <laughs> these, I do not like these. Really? No. But they're so cute. <sighs> you can see. They are scaredy cats, and the first thing they do is they curl up. Can you let us That's what I do. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go, the big guy. Stuff off here. Yeah. You got this. Okay, he's just chilling, he's yeah. chilling, he's figuring me out. Oh, you got it, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the goosies, that's all we need to know. So. Oh, it does feel really weird. It's tickly, isn't it? It is really unsettling a little. Oh, I don't like this. He's okay. wrapped around me. That wasn't bad. That wasn't Did so it. Bad. I think we could sell it as a spa treatment. Like. That kind of like, have you seen like the, the Japanese fish that like exactly. eat away? Yeah. But these guys are even better. So. <laughs> So it's been a few days, I just finished editing, I got a haircut. But my overall experience with Dr. Pearson was honestly super positive. I've always been the type of person to be squeamish and kind of like afraid of the creepy crawlies, spiders and insects and whatnot. I cut a lot of stuff out just for comedic purposes, but I was with her for probably about an hour. She explained how insects and snakes and spiders are hyped up in the media to be some scary threat, when in reality, they're way more afraid of you and they don't want anything to do with you for the most part. And she also explained that most insects will only harm you if they feel severely threatened. So you have to go out of your way to get them to feel threatened, which is something that I've seen a lot on the internet, making animals uncomfortable, essentially just for views. That being said, that's it for this week's episode. If you guys have any ideas or dares for things that I should do in the future on this beautiful production, <laughs> leave a comment down below and maybe it'll happen. Other than that, I'll see y'all next week. Let's go.